Hi everyone, it's Miss Pippin here. I am working with Knowledge Quest this fall, just like I did this past summer. So if you haven't seen my face yet, this is Miss Pippin. I'm a counselor with Knowledge Quest. I'm very excited to be working with you guys again. Um, you know, I'm very excited to have the opportunity to, you know, embrace the school year with everyone. I know that this is going to be a very challenging time for everyone. And I know that as long as we take deep breaths and we have our mindful state, I think that we will be successful in some capacity. Um, so getting ready for this brand new year, it's gonna be exciting. It's also gonna be challenging. I know that we're all gonna have questions and it's gonna be a time of the unknown, but I want you to know that I am right there with you. And um, uh, me and Ms. Stein, the other counselor who you will see this week, we got you, you know, look out on the weekly calendar for counselors, the counselor weekly calendar for opportunities to come join us, tell us about your day, play games, you know, opportunities to contact us. We can set up Zoom sessions and things like that. So with that being said, today is Monday. So happy Monday, good morning, drink that coffee, relax, kind of get yourself in a place where you need to be to come and have a successful week. I'm gonna share my screen and just share with you some tips on having a successful week. All right, so first and foremost, this is our um, email. You'll see this everywhere, kqcounselors at gmail.com. So shoot us an email if you wanna set up a time to chat want to know more about what we do, things like that. All right, so tips for the new school year. There's five of them that I want you to utilize. Um, and now remember, I'm not an expert. I'm just, you know, I'm, I, do, I use these tips myself to has, have a successful week. So I want you to you know, remember that. Um, first one is just take deep breaths. You know, just breathing very deeply it's it's important it gets you in the good mental state to making decisions and carrying out your week maintain a gratitude journal just any journal anything to write in talk about your day your week your hour however often you write in and it's just a great way to bring yourself back to how your day was and how your day can of your week or your day can improve pay attention to nature just simply looking out the window is so important you know, seeing the trees and the leaves and people taking a leisurely stroll or, you know, just get in the car and just drive around. I think that's, you know, wonderful as well. Take a bike ride, take a walk. Nature, I mean, it's amazing. I used to not really think that that would be something that would put me in a nice mindful state, but it really does. It kind of separates you from whatever anxiety you were having and just enjoy that tree or that you know, part of nature, bush, leaves, branches, you know, anything is a part of nature. That bird, that squirrel, anything. Um, do one thing at a time. Don't take it, you know, we, you can easily become overwhelmed. Anyone can easily become overwhelmed, especially with everything that's happening, you know, where most schools are going virtual. So that's going to be a lot on, on the child and the, and the parent. And I think it, you need to recognize that doing one thing at a time, making a to-do list, marking those things off and not doing them all at once and recognizing that it won't get done at once is, is, is really, you know, such a triumph within itself. You know, I, I'm one of those people I like to get everything done, but I'll also recognize that I need to have time with, for myself to kind of relax. And so just making a list of what needs one thing at a time. Focus on this one thing, then move on to that next thing. Visualize what needs to be done. If you have in your mind what needs to make you happy for this week, strive for that. You know, you, it might not be fully what you asked for, but st striving for that. You know, I, this week, uh, it, I have a lot of things to get done. You know, I, I teach outside of counseling. and. I'm going to strive for times where I'm just, when I come home and I'm not, you know, my family is, I'm not surrounded by my family. I just want to come home and, and 
just sit down on the couch, honestly, and just watch an episode of something, whatever it is. And just take that moment to myself. It's very important. So once again, I'm not an expert, but these are some great tips. Taking deep, deep breaths, maintaining a gratitude journal, pay attention to nature, do one thing at a time, and visualize what needs to be done. I hope this will help you have a successful week. Once again, I'm Ms. Pippin. If you need anything from me, shoot me a quick email. Um, you're gonna hear a lot from me. I'm sorry if I bug you, but I really, <laughs> I really want to be there for you. I think we're all we're all going to be, you know, overwhelmed and a little bit, you know, interested in how this year is going to look. And I recognize that. All right. Have a great week. Great Monday. Talk to you soon.